Hey there, I'm Joyce Scola. Welcome to my channel. We are on day two of our MMA series, working on our lower body. I wanna give a big thanks to Snow for sponsoring these videos for us. Today's video will be on passive flexibility. So you may want a strap and then we'll go ahead and get started on our mat seated. So getting nice and comfortable, propping yourself however you need to so you can sit without rounding in the spine. We're going to inhale, sit up nice and tall, take the flesh out from underneath you. Sitting up tall, we're going to inhale, gently lift the tailbone, lift the heart, keep the back of the neck long. Exhale, curl the tailbone forward towards your feet as you round through your spine, looking back at your belly. And we'll move like this a little bit as we start to roll the wrists as well. So at your own pace, some seated cat cows while stretching the wrists. You can even reverse your breath, inhaling on the cat, exhaling to lift. And then last time on our cat, we're gonna hold and breathe into our low back for three breaths. Trying to find length in the lower spine, stretching the hips wide, breathing deep. And we'll exhale to sit up. And then inhale, place your left hand to the floor beside you, reaching the right arm up, gentle side bend over to the left, keeping that right hip planted into the ground. Exhale up, inhale over to the other side, rooting that left hip down, stretching through the left side body. Exhale up, two more rounds at your own pace, inhaling, breathing into the lungs, the hips, exhaling to grow tall, inhale over. One more time, each side. Nice, and then sitting up, we'll go ahead and turn to face the front edge of our mat, taking our right leg long in front of us. Take your left foot into your right thigh, and then we're going to exhale reach our left arm to the outer edge of our right foot while reaching our right arm back. And then inhale, we're going to open, take your left hand behind you a little bit a ways, and then press into your legs and your foot as you reach the, arm, the hips up, taking your arm back behind you. And we'll do this for five rounds. So exhaling to come forward, reaching for that foot. Inhaling to reach back, lifting up and open, breaking up that fascia. Exhale through. Last round, inhaling up. Exhale through. And this time we'll just hold for a moment here. If you can't quite reach, you can always grab your strap if you have it available. And just helping yourself forward and down, hinging at the hip. Nice. And then we'll inhale, slowly lift up. And then open our left leg to the back edge of our mat facing the long edge with our nice wide legs, flexing those feet or pointing the toes. We'll inhale to sit up nice and tall and then exhale, hinging forward at the hips. You can play with pointing and flexing or even rocking the legs forward and back, maybe reaching your toes forward and down and then back behind you. Taking a few breaths here to slowly work into this pose. And again, you can always use your strap if you need it by wrapping the strap around both feet. And gently pulling yourself forward or just using your hands on the ground or your body. And again, just those feet are coming forward and back. And then exhale, point your toes round forward. And then we'll slowly inhale, sit up. 
And then we'll go ahead and take our right foot to the inside of our left leg. Facing that left leg, we're going to exhale, reach our right hand to the outside of our left foot as our left arm reaches back. Inhale, open, set your right hand behind you, lifting through the hips. Nice back bend. Exhale, coming through, reaching for that foot. Moving at your own pace. Last round. Inhaling back. Exhale, lowering those hips, reaching through and holding the stretch here. Again, if you need your strap, feel free to grab it. You can point and flex that foot or even windshield wiper. I'm hinging at the hips, reaching my heart forward to my toes. our feet together facing the back edge of our mat. Inhale to sit up tall, exhale forward fold. You can point and flex the feet. And again, always using, again, always using your strap if needed. You can take the strap around the balls of the feet, slowly working your way in and down. We'll go ahead and set the strap to the side, cross the legs, coming forward into tabletop. We'll do some gentle cat cows. Hands right underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath the hips. Stretch the hips nice and wide. Inhale, lift the tailbone, keeping the back of the neck long, dropping the belly. Exhale to curl up, rounding to look back. Or again, you can switch your breath. So inhaling on cat, exhaling to more of a neutral and gentle cow. Inhale, rounding to cat. Exhale. This time we'll inhale into cat and hold. Again, stretching into the hips, breathing into the low back, creating space in all the vertebrae. Nice. And then coming to tabletop, lengthening your tailbone away from your scalp, getting nice and strong. We'll inhale, lift the left leg, bringing the heel up towards the ceiling, bend in the knee, gentle back bend. Exhale, curl, stepping that foot through to low lunge. Inhale, lift it back and up. Exhale, stepping through, low lunge. Inhale, back and up. This time we'll exhale, step through, hold here, breathing. Pulling that right hip forward, left hip back. And then we'll go ahead and tuck our back toes, press into the foot, lifting the knee, spin your back heel down as you straighten your front leg, folding forward, breathing here. Always reaching the heart to the toes, not curling in. Pressing through the outer edge of that back foot, pulling the right hip forward, left hip back, micro bend in the front knee, allowing your spine to melt down. And then on your next inhale, we'll go ahead and lower that knee down, bringing our hands to the inside of that front leg. We'll go ahead and scooch our back leg back just a little bit more, coming into a lizard stretch here. So just bending the elbows, allowing yourself to sink down as much as you can. If you have room for forearms, you can go there. Pulling that right hip forward, left hip back, breathing. And pushing into my front foot and pressing into my back shin and the top of my back foot, breathing. 
nice. And then we'll inhale, start to lift out of this, taking your left leg more in front of that hip. Inhale, send your hips back, straightening your front leg, keeping a micro bend in the knee. I'm tugging on the flesh of my heel with my hips. I'm breathing in this front of lunge here. Flexing the toes or pointing, maybe I'm giving a little bit of a windshield wiper. Nice. And then we'll go ahead and extend out into our full split. So taking that right knee back just a little bit more, walking our hands more by our hips, bringing the spine up. Micro bend in that front knee, pulling on the flesh of the heel still. Pulling my right hip forward, left hip back, finding space and length in the spine. You can hold on to blocks or your fingers or your fists. Breathing here. And then exhale, we'll turn to the right, bringing both knees to the earth. Taking your knees as wide as they'll go making sure that your ankle is right behind your knee. We'll slowly lower it down and gently pull your hips back towards your heels, lifting through the tailbone, lengthening through the spine, breathing here. And then on your next inhale, we'll slowly walk the hands back towards the hips. Kind of lean forward off of your knees a little bit and slowly, a little bit at a time, start to bring your knees together. And then we'll go ahead and turn to face the opposite edge of our mat, coming into tabletop once more. Some gentle cat cows, exhaling on your cow, inhaling on the cat. And then inhaling up to cat and holding here, breathe. I'm breathing into my hips, wide and strong, lengthening the vertebrae in my low spine. And then exhale, coming to neutral table here, lengthening tailbone away from scalp. And we'll inhale, lift that right leg, bringing the heel up towards the ceiling. You can have a gentle back bend here. Exhale, curl that leg forward into low lunge, bringing the spine up. Inhale, lifting that leg back and up towards the ceiling. Exhale, stepping forward, lengthening the spine. Inhale, lifting up. This time, exhale, step that foot through, low lunge, nice and strong here. Left hips forward, right hip is moving back and pressing in to my foot and my shin. Allowing your hips to sink between your knees. And then we'll tuck our back toes, lifting that knee, spin that heel down as you straighten through your front leg. Allow your body to fold forward and down. Breathing here. Still pulling that left hip forward, right hip back and pressing through the outer edge of my back foot, pulling up through the inner edge and engaging my front foot. Breathing. Allowing my heart to melt more and more each exhale. Beautiful, and then we'll inhale, shifting forward, lowering that left knee down, taking our hands to the inside of our front foot. We can get into our lizard, pulling that right hip back, left hip forward, bending into the elbows or lowering your forearms to the ground or blocks, breathing here. Notice if one side is tighter than the other, you'll want to spend more time on your tighter side. If we practice the same time on both sides, we're gonna keep perpetuating imbalances in our body. 
So in order to create balance, we need to have our practice be off balance. And breathing. And then inhale, we'll go ahead and scoot that front leg more in front of the right hip. And then gently pull back on the flesh of the heel, straightening that front leg. Lengthen through the spine, exhale to fold forward and down. You can point and flex, windshield wiper, whatever feels good, just breathing here. Nice, and then we'll slowly start to take our front leg a little bit further out, taking our back leg back some more, coming into our split, walking our hands more towards our hips. So we're saying our spine is above our hips, pulling on the flesh of the heel, the front heel, pressing into that back leg, lengthening through the spine, using blocks of your fingertips or fists or laying flat wherever you're at, <laughs> breathing. This is a very courageous pose. Feel strong and confident, like you can leap, fly, tackle anything. Nice, and then on your next inhale, we're gonna turn to face the side edge of our mat. Putting that right foot down, take your left foot down as well, coming into your wide middle splits this time. Lowering down as much as you possibly can without injuring. I'm still staying somewhat engaged in my thighs. Breathing here. See if you can keep your feet flat on the ground, pressing through the outer edge, pulling up through the inner arches. Can even play with a little bit of rocking back. Rocking forward. All right, so coming to center, breathing here. Nice, and then we'll slowly crawl forward. Taking the knees down, bringing the feet together, slowly walking the knees in towards one another and turning to face the front edge of our mat. We'll tuck our toes, bringing our feet really close together, heels touching. Inhale, slowly sit back. I'm still dealing with a foot injury, so I can't go as far, especially on my left foot right now, but just breathing here. If you need to stay more like leaning forward, so you can hold it a little bit longer that's totally fine, or use blocks. You can roll off the wrists a little bit. And then we'll exhale, reach your hands to the very front of the mat. Walk your knees right behind your wrists, bringing your feet together, heels together, point your toes to the top of your feet or on the ground, sitting back. We can rock a little bit on the ankles and then either lean back or lean forward to lift the knees, stretching through the tops of the feet, keeping the heels together. Breathing. You can even play with one knee and then the other, whatever is best for you. Nice. We'll go ahead and plant our hands in front of us. We're going to come to a squat. So placing your left heel right behind your left wrist, right heel right behind your right wrist. Press into your feet as you sink your hips. You can take your arms to the inside, pressing to the inner knees, lifting through the spine, lengthen, and then we're gonna exhale, set our bottom down with control. Inhale into plow, taking your legs overhead, touching the ground behind your skull, and then exhale, flipping, rolling back up to your yogi squat. Breathing here. Exhale, inhale, lengthen the legs overhead, plow pose, push through the heels. Exhale, rocking up, yogi squat. Inhale, back. Push through the heels, exhale, yogi squat. 
This time we'll inhale, we're up back and hold, plow. You can take your palms together, bringing the shoulders underneath the spine, breathing here. And then exhale, slowly take the legs straight up into the air, breathing. Inhale, lower the feet back down, release your hands, exhale, press up yogi squat, breathe. And then slowly set the hips down, bring your feet together, knees wide, keeping your feet close in towards your hips, sitting up nice and tall. Nice. And then we'll go ahead and take our left leg, our left foot to the edge of our, to the right edge of our mat. Stack our right leg on top of our left. Make sure you pull the flesh out from underneath you. My knees are a little bit closer in, so my left ankle is touching, my right ankle is touching my left knee, and my right knee is hovering right above my left ankle. A little bit closer in. Sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, start to hinge or round forward. Breathing length into the spine, engaging your legs. And then inhale, slowly sit up. We'll go ahead and this time, stack the knees, taking our left heel to our right hip, right heel to left hip. Inhale up nice and tall. Exhale, rounding forward. inhale slowly sitting up we're gonna turn to face our right foot which is towards the left and keep spinning around to the left planting your hands you can then keep spinning 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 around so now our right leg is on the bottom and our left leg is on top we're coming back to the knees a little bit wider make sure that you lift each hip and spread it wide so you have a nice even ground and it doesn't feel like your bottom's like tucked under. So sitting up nice and tall, my ankles, my ankles stack right on my knee, my knee right above my ankle. Breathing, inhale, exhale, hinge forward or round, engage, breathe. Inhale, slowly sit up, and then bring those knees on top of each other. Again, making sure that your hips are still spread nice and wide. Sitting up nice and tall, lengthening, and then exhale, rounding forward, breathing. Again, notice if one side is tighter than the other so you can hold that side longer. If you need to like pause the video and then press play when you're ready to move on or you can just always catch up. Nice, and then we'll slowly inhale start to sit up go ahead and unwind the legs give them a little bit of a shake out sitting up nice and tall you can grab for your strap wrapping around the balls of the feet exhale folding forward inhale lifting up exhale fold forward you can point and flex the toes whatever feels good for you here And 
And we'll go ahead and release the strap. Inhale, to sit up. We're gonna take our hips towards our feet and then gently lay back. You can give your knees a little bit of a hug here. And then we'll go ahead and take our strap. Um, if you know which side is tighter now, we'll go ahead and do our tighter side first. So my tighter side is my left leg, so I'm gonna extend my right leg down, hook my left foot in, into my strap, and then inhale, lift that up. So I'm not doing super engagement here like our video was for active flexibility yesterday. This is more passive flexibility. So I'm really just allowing the leg to slowly be pulled, gently pulled down towards my heart. Breathing. If you want to play with pointing and flexing, you can. You're just hanging out. And bring both straps into your left hand. Nice. And then on your next inhale, you can place your right hand on top of your right hip to keep that pressing into the earth and drop your left leg nice and slow out to the side and gently pulling back creating a little more stretch if you want you can play with rotating that foot while it's here or just really hanging out enjoying the stretch And then on your next exhale, roll your right hip to the left, bend your left knee to bring that leg back up to center, extending through, taking the strap over into your right hand. Exhale, start to let that foot come over to the right foot, keeping that left hip plugged as much as possible. If you start to feel strain wherever, just pause and breathe. Notice if your body will start to soften as you soften. Keeping that left hip reaching towards the earth. And then maybe allow it to come all the way over and down while pulling that foot up towards your face with the strap. Inhale, roll to the right, bend that left knee, coming back up to center, and then bring it in towards that shoulder. Breathing here. Notice if your leg is starting to shake a little bit, mine is. This means I might be having some energy releasing happening. Just gonna hang out here. Try and soften into whatever you're feeling. And then exhale, go ahead and bend your knee. Bring your left foot down to meet your right. And notice the difference in your legs. Is, does your left leg feel longer? Does it feel more open? You fall. And we'll go ahead and bend both knees into our belly, give it a little squeeze. And then now we're going to wrap the opposite foot with our strap. Taking the unstrapped leg nice and long on the floor and then lifting the strapped leg up. So again, I'm just gently reaching my foot to that shoulder, same shoulder with my strap. 
not in, really super engaged here much, but also not like pushing too hard. So I'm gonna go past, you know, a breaking point or a pain point. And since this is my not as tight side, again, I'm not gonna stay here as long. So breathing here, place your hand onto your hip both straps into your right hand and inhale nice and slow. Open that right foot out towards the side. Still reaching it up towards your face. Again, if you want to play with pointing, flexing, windshield wipering that ankle or just hanging out, it's up to you. Breathing here. to wherever you feel tension, exhaling to soften that area. And then we'll go ahead and lean towards the right, bending that right knee. Inhale the leg back up, taking the straps over into your left hand. Exhale, kicking that right hip or the opposite hip of what you did last time, plugged into the ground as you start to reach that leg over. And then just pausing wherever you start to feel that stretch, breathing into wherever you feel it. Every time you inhale, you're breathing into tension, finding the length. Every time you exhale, you're releasing the tension out and down, softening that area. And then allow it to fully collapse down towards the opposite side. Again, lifting that foot up as high as it will go. You can open your opposite arm out, looking in the opposite direction of your leg. And we'll inhale, roll all the way towards that foot, bend the knee, bring it back up to center, gently pulling it back towards that shoulder. Breathing, softening. And then we'll go ahead and bend the knee, take the strap away, setting our right leg down towards our left and just pausing to notice. Now we'll bring our knees into our chest Give a little squeeze, set your feet down, lift your hips and scoop them over to the right edge of your mat, bringing your knees back into your belly, lay them over to the left, opening your arms out into a T, you can look away from your knees and try to let go of everything. So I'm not holding any muscles or joints, you can even wiggle your toes, let those go. Notice how my knees like slightly lifted off my bottom leg because I'm not holding. If I'm holding, I could push that knee down, but we're just soft, gentle here, passive stretching. If you want, you can even extend that leg straight, whatever feels good for you. And we'll 
inhale, roll to the left. So then bring our legs back up to center. And then plant the feet, scoot your hips over to the left edge, bring your knees back up, lay them to the right. Opening the arms out, you can look away from your knees and then again, let go of all your muscles, your bones, wiggle your toes, let those go. Inhale deep into your side body. Exhale, release anything, everything. Inhale, slowly roll to the right, bringing our whole body back to center. Give a gentle squeeze, plant your feet, go ahead and lift your hips up. Just to reset the spine, exhale, spread your hips wide as you lower them down towards your heels, bringing your knees into your arms, taking the outer edge of your feet, coming into a little happy baby. You can rock side to side. And then go ahead and hug the knees together, curling in. Thank you knees, thank you legs, thank you body for everything you do for me, for us. So grateful. And then we'll inhale, lowering down, extending out, laying in Savasana, tucking the shoulders underneath the spine, lengthening the head away from the shoulders. Inhale in through your whole body. Exhale, down and out through the feet, letting everything melt, become heavy, sinking into the earth. And just being here in your body for a few breaths, feeling into all the sensations that your body has to offer. Noticing the effects of our stretch. And then slowly we'll start to deepen our breath as we wiggle the toes and the ankles, the fingers, the wrists. Start to take the arms overhead for a full body stretch, pointing through the tops of the feet. Flex back through the heels. And we'll roll to one side, pausing for a moment. And then exhale to extend your top leg as you press into the ground to slowly sit up coming to a nice seated position. Inhale, bring your palms together in front of the heart, lifting the heart to the sky. Exhale, bow your mind to your heart, dropping your awareness into your heart space. May you lead with love, speak with love, listen with love, act with love. For the love enlightened me recognizes and honors the love enlightened you and everyone and everything. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. Let's all say thank you so much again to Snow for sponsoring these videos. Please let me know if you guys have any questions or comments or if there's a video that you'd like to see. Have a great day.